Hello my darlings and welcome. In this video I design and create some greeting cards for Litha using gouache and glitter paint and fine liner pens. Let's do some magical crafting. Litha falls on the summer solstice. It's the longest day of the year and the focus is on the sun. This is the peak of the solar year and the sun is at the height of its life-giving power. It's a time of joy and celebration, of expansiveness and the celebration of achievements. Litha is often represented by sun motifs and so I'm going to paint a few sunflowers and a honeybee for my cards. I will leave links below to all of the materials I use in this project and if you enjoy my Art Witch content, kindly leave a like on this video. I started with a very rough pencil sketch of three sunflowers and another sketch of a honeybee on a honeycomb background. These drawings are inside 4 by 6 inch rectangles as this is the size of card I want to have in the end. The next step is to draw the cards in more detail using a waterproof pen. I used a Micron .01 fine liner pen and when I was done I erased all of the pencil lines. The next step was to paint both cards with gouache paint. This is the first time I'm using gouache paint, and if you'd like me to make a video about how I set up my paint palette, please let me know in the comments. Because I'm a beginner in this medium, I think it's likely that the layers of paint I used were much too thin, so I'll have to practice with this paint a bit more. Gouache is similar to watercolor paint as it can be reactivated with water. But it's also similar to acrylic paint in that it's very matte and opaque if you use a thicker layer of paint than I did here. I'll continue with the narration once I've finished all of the layers of gouache paint.
The next step is to add a layer of shimmer watercolor paint. I have a witchy friend who makes handcrafted shimmer, metallic, iridescent, and glitter watercolors. Last year, she gifted me with a set of them, and I loved them so much I told her I wanted to use them in a video. And so she created a summer solstice inspired palette for me for Litha, filled with gold, yellow, orange, and brown, blue, green, and peachy apricot mica pigments. Her Etsy shop is called Scarlet Nymph, and while this is not a sponsored video, I do have a coupon code for 25% off in the description if you'd like to purchase this or any other watercolors from her Etsy shop. I think it would be fun to create a paint palette for every holiday on the Wheel of the Year. She also gifted me with a large pan of deep matte black. I'll be using that to paint in all the black portions of the honeybee. The first step to using these handcrafted paints is to spray them with water and let them soften for a few minutes. Then dip a damp but not soaking wet paintbrush in so that the paint is quite thick on the brush. This way the maximum amount of pigment and shimmer is transferred to the paper. The paints in this litha set are all created with mica and so the paint can be used quite thin. They can be diluted and used sheer but some of her other paint colors are created with larger pieces of glitter in them. Those should be used at the consistency of maple syrup for the best result. The paint needs to be thick because the glitter particles are so large. And here are the completed cards. I love how the paint shimmers as the light hits it. Once finished with the artwork, the next step is to scan the artwork and clean it up and color correct it in Photoshop. I also add a light gray border and I set the cards up to be printed out in the center of a letter-sized piece of cardstock. I created two versions of each of the two cards. One version says Happy Summer Solstice, and I left one version blank. I'll be making a downloadable and printable PDF of these cards available on Patreon. If you'd like to download a PDF of these cards, please visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, 
Book of Shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs. And I continue to add new, downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. The next step is to trim out my cards and fold them. I carefully line up the corners and edges and use a bone folder to get a nice sharp crease. A fun final step is to trim the outer corners into a curve. If you have a steady hand, you can do this with a pair of scissors. Or you can use a corner cutter tool. Or just leave the corners square if you prefer. I hope this video inspires you to create your own litha greeting cards. If you enjoy my art witch content, kindly leave a like on this video. And I'd love to become pen pals with my witchy viewers. If you'd like to share holiday cards, I'll leave my address below.